Hey there, hey there, hello there, Jeff Cutter Demo. I'll give you round three coverage of the Golden Tiger League at the Noisy Course Fest at TBC Scottsdale. We have VJ Singh from Fiji and Brett Wederick from the United States tied at 15 under par going into round three. Third place is chaired by Chichi Rodriguez and Johnny Miller with Anthony Kim, Bruce Crampton, and Rakeef Goosen rounding out the top five. It's our normal course, our normal greed, a standard rough, moderate wind this time sir. From the southwest in blue. Okay. Now, round three, we usually go with a signature hole and do that. Oh, there. So, we're from the 16th hole, the famous 16th hole at TPC Specs. There, we will bring you all the groups in action on the 16th hole and show you and all that. Minus four, if memory serves me right, was the cut line, if memory serves me right. After this, we'll be, that we headed to Sawgrass like everyone else, and soon we'll be ready to go to TPC Sawgrass and, um, that famous Island Green on 17. Of course, these guys don't take a look. Okay, so Dale Douglas, the first to get to the 16th. And very good. Oh my god, how can he was a four footer? Just of course, you'll probably see some highlights from other golfers in their rounds. So, here's Hugh Fialci. I don't know if I'm going to stand up. Nope, he does the That's okay. Second, Nap Glover, who just did not have, a, just not having a good day. He's at even par, and he might be last. Now, for Birdie. Oh my gosh, the South African had one in nine chance. And he puts it down for three. Glover for four. Nope. Not good. So, eight and two. So, you get five under par. Next up will be. Blancas and Schilte. Can't believe Schleep. There's a guy named Homero Blancas. This could be a Simpson. This is a Simpson's name. Not Schleep. Schleep. Oh, and this is a Blanca. Like a C. Oh, yikes. So, oh, yikes indeed. Yikes indeed. Oof. Not good. And now, lob for Schlee. Lob it a little too much. And now, for par. They'll have to bogey. The minus four. Make this for four. Yeah, he got it. So, he'll bogey. Have a bogey to their name. And now here's Anil Cabrera minus four. Overshot it. Oof. He's in the free throw zone. And Ozzy Marsh. Marsh. The good news for Cabrera is because it's the free zone, means that he doesn't have to lose a stroke. So, so now Marsh for Birdie. Overshot it. So every five groups, we will take a look at the leaderboard. And here's DeMarco and May now. DeMarco plays the string back. I don't know. If Bob May can do the same thing. Nope, he went left. Now the pitch for May. Oh my gosh. Fucked it up. And now he'll get at least the bogey. This is for bogey. He missed. Double bogey for me. Now the marker. This is for Brady. He bladed it. And he'll play. So after five pulls, nobody is there. No information about anybody having a good round and all that. So the wind might be taking a sail out of things. I mean, after all, nobody's been up there yet. So you got Graham and Massengill. Graham. Oh, it back nicely done. And now here's Massengale. Oh, 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 oh. That's good. They both know where they're going. For Bert. Overshot. Now there's Carr. Now Massengale. Oh my gosh. How did you miss that one? Lots of poems today. I think only like one birdie today. And now you got Irwin and Kelly. Hail Irwin. Way, way. Out. And now Jerry Kelly. A little center for the swing back. 
Canal Hellerman. A pitch. Into Sabunka. And it'll take a terrible shot. Here it goes for bogey. Over shot. So he'll. Kelly for birdie. I was thinking. Well, I was anticipating Bruno to come back up. So he double bogey does. So now he's at 200 par. Lots of pars and bogeys plus today. Well, the wind is heavy. And Curtis, minus one. Not having a good day and not good there. The Canadian, Stephen Ames. Nice approach. Oh, that's good. Both here have a putt for birdie. Curtis. Oh, yeah. And this is some bunker. Okay. Now I have to lob it up. Oh, that's good. You will get an easy bogey putt. Here's Ames for birdie. Oh, we shot it a little bit off. But that's okay. He'll get a little bit thrown out of that. It's not too bad. Ames is at 900 par. So he's technically kind of the leader right now. Group 9. It is Lund and McGinley. Paul McGinley is in the bunker. No. He's off the slope. Bob Lund. I think he's from the 70s. Oh, no. Man. The wind is just playing havoc today. Well, that's not bad. That's okay for Lund. He'll have a decent chance at both. Uh, par. Excuse me. McGinley. He's close. Lund for par. He missed. And we will have a bogey. Now we can the part. No, oh, he'll bogey. I need stats about the 16th hole. Because I'm like, what has the 16th hole done today? I don't think we've had, I think we've only had one birdie. They're not going to tell me the information. Of course, details, but anyway, okay. KJ Choi, minus four. Versus... Oh, that's a terrible shot, in a sense. A little shot. Yancey. For Yancey, ooh, into Zabunka. We pitch it, and it's okay. For Bird. Troy, ooh, that was a terrible shot. And he'll get a bogey for that. If you're not going to put it down, ah. And he missed. We're having a bogey pass. The strokes are 3.56 out of a par 3. So it's half a stroke higher. Oh, shit. Aaron Badley and Jameson. Badley! I'll, I'll chip it. Jameson. Wide left. Jameson! The wind is just playing. Badley might as well play. Okay, he's got a decent position for his par. This is for part. There you go. There you go, Ding Bang. And this is what we're The summary. Well, Stephen Adams at 10 in the park. He is your clubhouse leader. Ernie Els just started in back to back birdies. So Els is going to try to steal the Canadians' momentum. Ames, 10 under par. Seeing how lots of players have been behind him, he might be a top 20. Zach Johnson, 2 under par. Oh, beautiful. That's going to be a birdie, probably. Just grow. I think those two guys knew about where to place their balls. Birdie for growth. Yes, sir. We had a great chance. Johnson. No. He had, he had a 1 in 6 chance of fucking it up. And it just happened to do that way. What a birdie for growth. Only the second guy, Bayucci of South Africa, I think is the only other guy who was birdie this one. Chris Ryder. A little bit to the right. And now, Floyd. Ray Floyd. Ray Floyd, that's good. Oh, but the slope takes him off the green. Might as well putt. Well, he's not bad. He's got a par. Yes, he does. Riley for birdie. Here we got the third player in the birdie. That's full, and he doesn't. So you can probably guess that, you know, the wind has played havoc with the wind. Well, Grove did a good job, but. He's only seven under par. He's not the leader. Ames is. Eigelberger. Overshoots it. The string is coming in the river. So seven under par and Todd Hamilton. You know, the guy who won the 2004 British Open somehow in some way. 
Todd Hamilton. A lot of people said he was the focus of the movie. Actually, no, that was Tad Hamilton. Hamilton! Eddie Burger should be able to put that, and he does. Ty Cooper got 7 under. Hamilton drops to 2 under par. Group 15, Harrington and Durant. Perfect. Durant. Chris Padraig. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you got it in. Durant. Eek. This is for par. And this is for par. Thank you, the summary. Now, Ames is the clubhouse that are 10 under par. Stuart Appleby's got two birdies in their first three, first three holes. Hunter Mayhem and Len Matisse are there. Or Alice has slipped off a little bit. I don't, you hate to see that. It's coming. Stenson. Uh, that's good. Stenson, nice job. Furyk. Uh, Purek. Oof. That's not good. That's on Winston. For par. Uh, are you kidding me? You're a free number safe for me. And you did it. What a par. Sense of a birdie. Eight parts are down. We have a third player to get a birdie here in this round. Oof. Here's Sergio. Ten under par. Trying to catch. We'll jump over Ains for the clubhouse leader. And here's Kratzert. Kratzert is... I he was a marathon runner. Or a weightlifter. No, that's Kassmeyer. Kratzert for birdie! Garcia for birdie. No, he cannot believe his luck. And he's too guys to par. Oh, Sergio! Now on to Greer Jones with Thomas LeVay. Greer, okay, he's on the green. LeVay. Oh, where did that go? LeVay will pitch into Sabunga. LeVay. Okay, that's not bad. Now Jones for birdie. Nope. Hit far. And LeVay for birdie. Yay! 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 Group 19, Casey and Clark. Casey owns oh, a bunker. And now uh, Clark. Oh, he's not even on. Uh, he didn't even get close to the green. And of course, the pride of Northern Ireland, the Ulster man. Up and. Okay, that may have been good. I that he would have a good par putt. Well, okay, so I. Now he'll get a good deal on that. For par. That puts a dang green for the par. Casey for both of them. You just hate to see that. Lee Trevino, the Mary Mac. Minus seven. Is that Craig Perry? Kenny Perry. My fault. Perry. Okay, that's a close one. Will it on the fairy on the green? Yes, it does. For birdie. Nope, but I don't have an easy part. Perry for birdie. It puts it down. So Kenny Perry puts it down. Well, Ames is your clubhouse leader. Appleby. Gerberger, Howell, Siegler, and Clark are ahead of them, but they've just started their rounds. We still don't have Singh and Wetterick yet. Well, no, it's the truth. Thompson and Lonard. And Thompson goes into the bunker. And now Peter Lonard. Yeah, bunk. Leonard Thompson. And now, Lonard. Okay. Okay. For Park. Park. Lonard, the Aussie, makes his mistake, he's Thompson. And 
and that's a pogi for him too. So the stroke average is 3.33 on this hole. Not good. I mean, it should be lower. Lon Hinkle, 600 par. Not bad. And now it's Hill. Mike Hill. For birdie. Fuck. Hinkle. Fuck. So the whole par. Now you got Ogilvy and Green chasing Ames as the Ogilvy's leader at 100 par. Okay, that's not a bad show, but Ogilvy and Green didn't do it yet. Kind of. So now for Birdie. Nine. Now Ogilvy for Birdie. Oh, yes. Ogilvy. He's trying to catch up. Nicholas fast with a triple bogey on 11. Not good. Woody Austin eagles the third, so he's trying to make things happen for himself. Group 24, Ma Mahan and Els. Hunter Mahan trying to take the clubhouse lead from Ames. Ooh, baby. Ernie. Mahan, I. Hunter. Okay. Oh, he'll double. Hey, Elsa, 14 for the car, and he puts it down. Beautiful. Man, with a double boogie. Doesn't help anything. And, let's see, what group are we in? 25. So it's the Heron and Mahaffey group. John Mahaffey, yes. Tim Heron, or is that minus nine? Oh, that's good. This might be Brady. Well, pitch. Not bad. That's good. And now for Brady. Good oh, shot. Happy for par. Oh, you got to be joking. I didn't miss that. <laughs> Summary says now, oh, Ogilvy at minus 11. He's now got the lead up with a 68. If Mayhem birdies on 18, he'll have the lead. Tiger and Woody Austin early in the rounds. Mayhem. He's now tied with Ogilvy for the clubhouse lead. There's Matisse with Cootie. And Matisse puts in the bunker. Cootie. He puts it in that bunker. So they both put themselves in bunkers. Minus 11 is the leader right now. Wow, the club is Matisse. For part. Matisse, no. For both. Now for part. Yes, sir. Cutie puts his hand for part. So both at 9 under par. With two holes left. He's got McCarran. No, in that bunker. There's Appleby. Okay. And Karen. Karen. Oh. Karen making a mess of it. This is for Brady. Oh, yeah, we're shoots. This is for double bogey, and now this is for triple. With Aaron. That is terrible. Funny. Triple bogey. Appleton for four, yes. Fast and smooth. Fast, low left. Jason smooth. Pretty. Oh. 
Yes. Yep. There's everyone. Free J Singh Eagles on the third. He's at minus fifteen. He's just starting his round. Now group twenty nine. Thompson Phil Shakes. Mueller. Ooh, David Toms. Camila. Okay. And now for Brady. Tag. For Par. No. For Bogey. For Par, Tom, six. Maybe it's one last time. Today, this hole has been really bad. Barnes and Weir. Let's go. Barnes. Okay. That works. Now we're. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Where's where? Oh, wow. He almost got it. But I got it. Did he get it? He's going to get ready. Fuck. Happy summary. The wind has really been playing havoc. The clubhouse leader is Ogilvy and Mayhem, and Tim Heron, and Stuart Ogilvy. If Lashagas can get a birdie, he'll take, he kind of will take over first place. And, well, why do I have a triple bogey? Wow. This is not how it goes. Well, Lashagas minus 12 now. Guy Burger. Minus 14. He might take things away from everyone. Oh, the third. Both fit the bunker. Guy Burger. Oh. I didn't watch that. There you go. You should have done that. How the third. For par. Larry Sigler Eagles on 15. So he's coming here with a 13 under par. Sigler and Nicholas. So Larry does a bit of a string. Nicholas. Nicholas. Pretty good. Sigler. Oh, too much. For par. Oh, meant for Nicholas. Well, Sigler then Eagles on 17. Wow. So Sigler might be the threat. Jacqueline and Butler. We're getting close to the end. Here's Jacqueline. Oh, yeah, Butler missed. Okay, it's part. Johnny Miller, well, he's got 500 parts through the first nine. He's trying to go back to back. This would be amazing if he goes back to back. Tom Shaw. Oh, not having a good day compared to his partner, Tim Clark. Ooh, ah. Clark. Okay. Shaw. Clark for par. Yeah. What is going on? Why are people like not getting their par putts? Third. Three fifth grade. What's in Rose? Rose was doing so well, and then he's oh, there's Tiger. Let's see if Tiger can do the Tiger uppercut. Oh, he's good. I think he's doing good. Love for Justin. Okay, that'll do. What's for Birdie? Ah, I couldn't do it. So. We're heading into this. Wedrick has not done too well. So right now, Johnny Miller leads BJ Singh by a stroke. Larry Sigler, 
uh, 66. So he's the clubhouse leader at 15 under par. Tony Jacklin at 14 under par. Al Guybrecker at 13 under par. There's still time for a few more golfers to do well. Here in round three, it's Austin and Watson. Bobby Watson. Ooh, not really doing that well. Here's Woody. Whoa! Where was that shot going? Woody! Okay, I'll take a par. Will Bubba take a par too? Yes, he will. This is for par. Yes, sir. So both these guys take the par. So now it's a hard course with a fast green. So the greens are a little bit fast now. Coming into the whole thing, everything changes. Maltby and Murphy. Maltby not really having a decent round this time. Here's Bob Murphy. No, not the Mets announcer. Oh my gosh. Everything is hard and fast. Murphy landed in the bumper. Oh, yeah, you do okay. That will be a decent part putt. Maltby. He bladed it. Oh boy, did he ever blade it. Oh, that would be funny as oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? He went from bunker to native error. Oh my god, no way. Goodbye. Is that one thing is another? That's better. Oh. Baby. This is for part. And he missed the part putt. This is for a triple bogey. Minus eight. Man, that's going to bring the score damage really too high. Wow. Multi went from bunker to native to bunker to native. Bart Bryant and Rakeef Guzan. Looks like. Guzan. Bryant. Ah. Okay, so that's a good shot, but he'll have to bogey it. 38. Goosen. That's a power. And that's a bogey. Right. So now, three more groups left. Kim and Crampton are the third last group. Crampton, minus 13. Yeah. Kim, a little slick here. Anthony Kim. That's a bunker. Kim trying to get close. Yes. For birdie. Oh my goodness. Some people are missing 15 or 16 feet for birdie. And he puts a 38 footer down. He's at 14 under par. Frampton. Yikes. This is for par. And Kim couldn't even hit that. So far. Ay, ay, ay. Now it's Rodriguez and Miller. The leader, Johnny Miller. Well, he's going to hit the bunker. Chi Chi. Could Johnny Miller go back to back? I think the golf gods are going to tell him, fuck you, you won the tournament. You're going to Augusta anyway. He's got to get up and down. He could fuck this up for Bertie. Aye. Just didn't have enough, Chi Chi. For Bertie. And he missed. So he's got a double bogey, 17 in the park. Chi Chi Eagles on 17, so. Well, you got Singh and Wedrick. Singh has done pretty well. I see the 16th. That's the Wedrick. I think the golf guys learned. Wait a minute. Johnny Miller won last time. We have to fuck him over. Wedrick! Oh, boy. He's just not having that type of day. He's just having. And a paw! And now it's the building. Oh, he's close, but it's hard. I think PJ Singh's got this one. And, well, that's it. So, PJ Singh, a great 66, a 5 under par 66. He's in the lead by two strokes over Johnny Miller. Larry Sigler and Rakeef Goosen are tied for third, tied for fifth. Tony Chaplin, Tiger Woods, Woody Austin, and Bruce Crampton. Basically, if you get under par, you'll be day off over there. Mike Weir's tied for 13th. He's done pretty well. So Johnny Miller is only two strokes back, and he'll be in the final pairing. Could Johnny Miller shock the world? Now, look, now here's the thing. If Johnny Miller takes second place, 
That does not mean he'll get that Austin spot. That means it will be a null and void spot unless the third place competitor. They might give the third place competitor the next, the benefit of the doubt, but only no. If you win your round, but you take second in another round, that's a void, and that just takes one spot away from trying to determine the final the the runner up that gets to Austin. We do Atlanta. So right now the worst, everyone's at even par. Ben Curtis had a five over par, and Luke Sculver had a four over par. Both are even par. They're the, they're the quote unquote last. So anyway, we'll go to the next round because we obviously have to do the the groups, and the final group will be Singh and Miller. Sigler will tee off with Goosen. Jacqueline and Woods will be third last. So. That's huge. Ben Curtis will go out on the course by himself. Hamilton and Glover, Sack Johnson, Ray Floyd. So that's just what you need to know. Mike Weir is tied for 13th. So the Canadian, he might pull it out. Wow. He's nine strokes back. But we'll see what happens. I'm Jeff Diamond. Adieu.